Question number 17 is about interior angles of polygon. Here we have to prove and use polygon interior angles, uh, interior angle sum theorem. This is a simple formula. We'll look into a problem and solve. I hope you remember this formula that is n minus 2 times 180. What does this give? This gives the interior angles, all the inside angles. The sum of all the inside angles is given by this formula. So I'll write sum of interior angles. Let's see, SIA, sum of interior angles is short. This is the formula. Let me first solve it. Here they have told to find the value of each interior angle. But first, let's find the total angle by from this formula. How many sides, how many angles are there? Uh, sides are there. This n is side, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is 4 minus 2 times 180. So it becomes 2 times 180. That is 18 times 2 is 36. It's 360 degrees. This is the total interior angle. Now, how much, uh, what is this uh, specifying basically? This means we know it's 2x plus 5, 2x plus 7, x, x. It's the sum of all these. So if I'm writing x plus 2x plus 5 plus x plus 2x plus 7, that is equal to 360 degrees. Because that is the sum of all the interior angles and the inner angles have been mentioned over here, right? Add them up. Now, what do we do here? We just have to uh, add up all the x's and numbers separately. x plus 2x is 3x, 4x, 5, 6x. 6x equals, I'll take all the numbers to the other side. It will be 360 minus 7 minus 5. So here, what do you have? Uh, it is 12. So it will be 348, 6x. Now I should just divide. Over here it will be 300, uh, 6, 5, 50. And over here, how much we have? 3, 53. Okay, x is, sorry, not 53, it's 58. Okay, this is the answer. It's 58 degrees for, x is 58 degrees. Okay, now if you're thinking how to calculate, see this is basically 348. Just use the calculator, that's the easiest way. But there is, mentally you can easily do it. When you're dividing this, just split it into 348. What is 6 divided by 300? It's 50. Plus 6 divided by 48 is 8. That's it. Now here then, we got x value, but that's not over. x value is 58. That means what is this? R is 58, T is 58. What about the other two angles? It is 2 times 58 plus 5. This is very important. You need to do it. 50 times 2 is 100 plus 16. 116 this is plus 5. This will become 121. Now here also you, you have to do the same thing. 2 times 58 plus 7. It's 116 plus 7. That is 123. These are the answers. Okay. It will be about... Where are the answers? It's 121 for Q. Yes. And R and T is 58 and 58. And lastly, we have 123 for S. That's how we do it. Very easy. Same method over here. Just use the interior sum of interior angles. And then, okay, I just realized one thing. They have written sum of all this. What I had written is sum of interior angles. That means those are the angles itself and then directly solve it. It's fine. You can follow this method. It's the same thing. Here as well, sum of all this J, M, L, K equals N minus 2 times 180 degrees. This is a very important formula. Substitute this, solve this. Over here we got 360 degrees. Now substitute these values and solve it up. You'll get the answer. Then for each angle, you need to individually solve it as well. Same way over here. The same concept. These two are 90 degrees. They have already specified. So when you're solving here, two will be 90 degrees and then remaining substitute and then solve for the individual angles. Same thing here as well. Just the number of sides changes here. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's five minus two. That is three times uh, 180. It is 540 degrees. In the previous problem also, it was five sides. So it's five minus two times 180. And uh, we have a real world problem here. It's about architecture, La Tribuna. So 
in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, Italy, there is a room built by Biontalenti called the Tribune. Okay, it's La Tribune, La Tribuna in Italian, Italian. This room is shaped like a regular octagon. What is the measure of the angle formed by two consecutive walls of Tribune? Okay, that means you need to uh, find this angle basically. It's same thing, same concept over here, but now it's an octagon. That means all the angles are equal here. Okay, all these angles are equal. So how many angles are, how many sides are there in octagon? It's eight, right? So the formula is n minus 2 times 180. Here it's 8 minus 2 times 180. So it's 6 times 180. So 185 times is uh, 900. 900 plus 180 will be 1080. So this is the angle for all. But we want only for one particular side, right? This is the total integer angle. How do we find for one? So just divide this by 8. 1080 divided by 8. You will get the answer. We can just use the calculator here. It'll take a long time. Let's use the calculator and solve. It is 1080 divided by 8. The answer is 135. So the answer is 135 interior angle. That's it. So this angle between two consecutive wall is 135. Okay. So very simple. Now this is the last problem. Another real world problem. Theater. A theater floor plan is shown over here. The upper five sides are a part of regular decagon. Dodecagon, sorry. Decagon is 10 sides. So what is dodecagon? It's 12 sides. Find this measure. Okay, now we must understand this is actually a dodecagon. So if you co complete it, these angles are belonging to dodecagons, right? So what we do now is we use the sum of interior angles n minus 2 divide, multiplied by 180 degrees for do, de, do decagon or you can take it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's, let's do it for do decagon first, okay? What is this 12? Uh, it will be 12, n is 12 minus 2 times 180 and this is 10 times 180 that is equal to 1800. That's very useful now for us. Why? Because we found out what will be the total interior angle of a dodecagon? Now let's divide this by 12 and find what is it for one, uh, you know, one angle, this much. How much is it? So this will be, this is easy to solve. It's 12, 1, uh, 150, 1.5i, because 18 divided by 12 is 1.5. 1.5 is the answer, and then you have to multiply two zeros, it'll be going over here, it'll be 150. Okay? Now this is 150. Now 150 is over here, 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 here. But what about this one? And what about this one? Now that is the thing, right? So here it changes. You should know that here it's half of that. See this line, right? So looking at this figure, you can tell this is 75. Let me just change the color over here. Let me just make this blue. Now it's more visible. See so this one, this one. Now we know this is 150, 150, 150, 150. Fine. But what about this and this? You can do half of 150 is 75. So it'll be 75 here, 75 here. These are all the interior angles. Now there is one more thing. We need to solve A, right? So I have found all these 75, 150, 150. That's fine. But how do I find this one? How do I relate it? We did this for dodecagon because they mentioned it and we found these sides. That's fine. But now you need to apply the, again, the sum of interior angle to this particular side, this particular shape. How many sides are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I do is, I will just have to do the same formula n minus 2 times 180 and use 7 minus 2 times 180 that is 5 times 180 or 900 degrees. Now let me make uh, let me just re uh, elaborate this. Why did we do for dodecagon? So we can find these sides all these sides we have found out to be 150 degree right. 
because it's a regular dodecagon that means all the sides are equal and then these two sides are cut into half so it's 75 and 75 we just could find these ends nothing about inside can be found by because this is not a dodecagon it's a part of dodecagon only the ends are similarly having the same angle of a dodecagon now here this is a separate polygon right is having seven sides so what we do over here we find the interior angle for this particular shape the total interior angle is 900 which i have written over here that must be equal to let's add up all the sides it will be equal to 75 plus 75 two 75s and how many 150 1 2 3 4 plus 4 into 150 plus this measure of angle 1 that is what we needed to solve now solve it up take this all to the other side this is 150 it will be 900 minus 150 minus 300 150 times 4 is 300 equals measure of angle 1 now here we will solve for the measure of 1 let's take all this to the other side 75 plus 75 is 150 minus 150 minus 150 times 2 is 300 times 2 is 600 that is equal to the measure of angle 1 now it will be 300 minus 150 so it's 150 degrees equals measure of angle 1 this corresponds to 150 it's not 90 it's more than 90 yeah it's 150 degrees just relate your answer and check so the answer must be 150 degrees for measure of 1 uh, the method see this method is simple as well so you can just find you know right finding the interior angles then find this 150 and this is relatable just divide this by 2 and make it 75 75 and then the interior angle of the given polygon and then uh, by this formula over here you can solve it up easily the method might vary over here it might be a different method but the answer will be the same whichever you find easy just follow that so that's the end of this topic just make sure in the real world problems you understand what has been asked understand if it's part or you know how to find way to apply the formula and how to solve it properly please do practice more problems you'll be more thorough with the problems